Uh, my name is Usma Haq. Um, I am a rheumatologist in the Division of Rheumatology at Johns Hopkins. In the Division of Rheumatology, I work in the Arthritis Center, where we specialize in taking care of patients with inflammation in their joints, something called as inflammatory arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis is the most common example of that. So yes, I've been taking care of patients with rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and other forms of inflammatory joint conditions over the last decade or so. I think what I enjoy most about rheumatology is that often we are in the gray zone or the twilight zone. Uh, things are often not obvious to us as rheumatologists. We have to do a lot of detective work. We have to connect a lot of different dots. Uh, we have to look at patterns. We have to make sense of a lot of different things. It's a very cognitive field, um, so you have to think through processes. Um, often things are not obvious or clear cut at the beginning, and I truly enjoy that challenge of sifting through complicated um, clinical scenarios and trying to find the right answer. I think the other reason rheumatology is um, a fabulous field is because now um, in this time and era, we have incredible medications, we have made immense advances in the therapeutics of rheumatology so that a decade ago or two decade, uh, decades ago when a patient was diagnosed with a rheumatological disease, we just had maybe a few medications starting with aspirin and maybe steroids, uh, but now we have um, a whole armamentarium of these medications that we can use very effectively, efficiently uh, to take care of our patients and manage these diseases um, in a rather optimum fashion. And so it's very gratifying to be a rheumatologist in this time and era. So I came to Johns Hopkins to train. Um, it is um, an excellent institution for research and training. And of course, the mission of the institution is uh, excellence in patient care, um, teaching, and research. But the reason I am still here uh, is because I truly love working in this division. Um, I hope that it is evident to our patients that in this division we are really a family. Um, I feel that I'm surrounded by brilliant people, brilliant minds. We uh, talk about very interesting uh, patient-related issues, research-related issues, but at the same time we all um, support each other uh, in ways where I'm certainly proud to be a part of this division. Um, so I'm surrounded by these wonderful people. I call them my colleagues. I call them my friends. And I'm able to take care of um, diseases that are rather rare um, in, in ways and fashion that we can only do that at Johns Hopkins because we have immense ex expertise and experience in these rather rare diseases. Um, so this is the reason why I'm here. It's because this division for me is truly like a family. As a rheumatologist, I'm very interested in how inflammation interfaces with nutrition. Uh, so for example, having does inflammatory diseases, uh, do they impact um, our nutritional status? Um, vitamin D and its impact on inflammatory conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis is one of my areas of um, research interest. But my interest goes beyond vitamin D and I'm interested in evaluating micronutrients, um, the amount of zinc and copper and some of these other elements that we have in the human body that are key to uh, good functioning of the human body. And I want to better understand how in someone who has chronic inflammation, can nutrition be altered? So this is my specific area of interest. But I consider myself also an educator. Um, as I said, uh, the, the three tiers of our mission, uh, one of them is teaching. And I think I was very uh, blessed by having great mentors and teachers. And I feel that um, whatever I have learned through my experience in rheumatology, I want to um, deliver that to the next generation. So that's my other great area of interest. And in particular, I want to train general internal medicine physicians so that they can recognize our diseases earlier in a better fashion and they can refer the patients 
to the rheumatologist in a timely and appropriate fashion. So a little bit of research and teaching, they are both um, my areas of interest. I think as a physician, um, the greatest honor and privilege I have is my ability to connect with another human life. And I truly cherish and value that. I also feel that this is a, not only a great honor, but a great responsibility that I have as a physician where another human being in need is looking up to me for help. And I truly um, appreciate and cher cherish this part of my profession.